this guy won the contest for this week for the idiot okay of the week honor roll so he won guys you can should congratulate him anyone can come up with an explanation okay anyone okay uh what's your proposal uh, your proposed mechanism for gravity anyone okay i mean do you have a are you just saying this because the year is three and say anyone can do that okay so anyone uh please show us what is your mechanism for gravity Okay, so if you say anyone can come up with it, okay, uh, do it, anyone. Sounds like, uh, who was it, Odysseus, uh, when he landed in the uh, land of the uh, uh, Cyclops, and he enters this uh, cave, and um, the Cyclops wants to kill him, and he removes his eye, you know, he's, uh, so the Cyclops cannot see. And so the Cyclops uh, is shouting, he says, what is your name, who are you? And he says something like this, well, I'm anyone. He said, I'm no one, that's what he said. And so when other Cyclops came to the cave and heard him shouting in there, he said, what's wrong with you? Says, uh, oh, they took my eye, they blinded me, and who did it? No one. No one did it. Oh, and they said, oh, okay. And they just left. <laughs> and that's the same guy, anyone. Uh, he came from the land of the Cyclops. Okay? Every explanation based on assumptions, such as how imaginary ropes might actually behave. Well, yes and no. See, the word how is tricky there. You could be referring to a description, a statement of the facts, or you could be referring as a how to a theory, to an explanation. So you got to clarify what you mean by how. That's where the trick is, okay? And then he says, experiments are necessary to find out if the explanation that makes um, sense in your head has any relationship to reality. Okay, so what experiment did this poor, suffering individual uh, uh, you know, what experiment does he propose to identify the invisible, intangible, you know, here we have it again, one more time, invisible, intangible uh, things that are causing gravity. Uh, what's he going to use? What experiment are we going to do? What, what does he propose? And I get tired of asking these people, and they just say, oh, you need to run an experiment. Okay, tell me what experiment I need to run to detect, to find out what's here or here, because something came in contact with the skin of the pen, aside from my fingers now, right? When I let go of this, hey, it goes down. So I'm holding it up, but you say, well, it's held up because your fingers are touching the pencil. They're holding it up against its will. Okay, great, you're right. But as soon as I let go, something else is pulling it down or pushing it down up from, from above. No problem, I have no problem with that. As long as you have a mechanism, show us your mechanism, then we can criticize it. So what does he propose to detect these invisible uh, entities are coming in contact with the skin of the pen. What uh, experiment does he propose to come in contact, uh, comes in contact, um, you know, uh, or what object, what things come in contact with the skin of the earth that prevent it from flying out of the solar system? I mean, uh, quantum, um, I'm sorry, general relativity says it's warp time. So uh, that's kind of weird, you know, warp time. But yeah, you can imagine the mechanism, the roulette mechanism. The uh, Earth cannot leave the solar system because there's this w curved wall of time. But it's the curved wall of time which uh, doesn't pass the test. The uh, suppositions, known as the hypothesis, okay? That's the one that doesn't pass, okay? And um, uh, this fellow continues, I think it's the same fellow, I don't know. It says, how does an electromagnetic rope differ from an ordinary nylon rope? <laughs> I ask you to explain why the ropes uh, contract and you pull out Newton's equation. I thought math had nothing to do with physics. Poor fellow, poor fellow. Uh, anyways, no, the ropes don't contract. Okay? It's made of uh, the thread, the uh, universal thread, single thread as we call it. It's made of a single piece. It's flexible, okay? And uh, makes up the ropes and the atoms that are interconnected by the ropes. So there's a single thread making up all matter in the universe. And, but the issue here is, you know, he says, I thought math had nothing to do with physics. He doesn't understand the definition between an explanation and a description. So all you can do, fellow, is go out there and look for uh, several videos that I have on explanation and description, and you'll find your answer.